Your Voice of the Valley, AM 1450 KPMW. Turner Bluff is here on our first official Snap Spotlights uh, segment. We gave you guys a little teaser of the segment uh, last week. Now we're really into the sports season, so we're diving into it. And my first guest, if you, if you call it the first official guest, is the new Wapton head coach of the volleyball team, Dominique Rickles. How's it going today? It's going really well. Excited to be here. I can't believe I didn't actually say Dom Schuler. <laughs> I, 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 was, I, was, I was this close, and I was like, I'm really giving, patting myself on the back for catching that. No, no. It happens here and there, but people are starting to remember. <laughs> bit, of an, bit of an adjustment. Uh, so uh, let me uh, take us through the journey a little bit of uh, you applying for the position, what made you uh, kind of want to apply, and then uh, what, how great was it when you got, uh, when you got the job? Um, so I've been wanting to get back into coaching for some time. Um, just the opportunity with my current work schedule wasn't there. And Mm -hmm. actually through some, uh, coaxing by some other coaches in the area, they talked to me about the position and, uh, the more I thought about it and talked about it with my husband, I thought it was a great time and opportunity. And I was really excited when I got the job. I'm still excited about it Mm -hmm. uh, to be in the gym with the girls. So, um, I was a gym rat. Mm -hmm. growing up and just being back in that environment as a coach versus a player it's still that same feeling and same excitement every time I get back in the gym what would you say is something uh, you thought you brought to the table that kind of set you apart from uh, other candidates or uh, made you kind of a prime candidate for the job um I think for volleyball it's a lot about communication and I'm Mm -hmm. I'm quite an outspoken person (laughs) (laughs) and uh, I like to bring energy into any setting that I'm I'm entering in, whether that's just for my job, uh, relationships with my friends and in the gym as well. So I think that might have been the catalyst and possibly my past sports career. Yeah, You had to demonstrate how to yell after every point, I'm sure. (laughs) (laughs) That's something that was very that was very key to the interview, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, And speaking of your career, tell me a little bit about your prep career uh, as a former uh, volleyball player and all state volleyball player, that is, and also a accomplished basketball player, too. Yeah, that's so long ago. Um, I, had a, I had a great volleyball career and um, coaches. Um, it was one of those things, too, where I had the decision to play volleyball or basketball. Um, but basketball was my first love at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I, it's fun thinking, uh, doing research for practices and finding drills. And I'm like, oh, we did that drill, you know, mm-hmm. and taking my uh, experience as a middle hitter and back row and applying that to the gym so like for instance we have Emma Bonches who hasn't played all the way around and she's a taller middle hitter and she one of her goals was to play all the way all the way around I'm like well Mm -hmm. you can do it I did it we're the same height Mm -hmm. and she led our team in digs this past weekend in Bismarck so um, it's fun to see my experience experiences as an athlete translate uh, on the court for them as well. Yeah, now that you've gotten your first games under your belt, I guess, uh, how would you say it's been transitioning for both you and the team? I think it's going well. I mean, you know, there's going to be mis- – I told the girls, I was like, mistakes are going to happen. Um, I'm going to make mistakes. It's just how we bounce back from those. Mm-hmm. Um, right now, it's just building that confidence and team chemistry. So Bismarck was a real good uh, preseason trial run of what we needed to work out as a team and see what girls play well at at different positions and lineups together. So I was I was really happy to have that opportunity before we have our first game today against Horace. Mm-hmm. And uh, as the uh, first uh, first year coach, always leaning on the coaching staff. How big of a help has uh, the rest of the staff been uh, in helping uh, you with this transition? Oh, they've been uh, tremendous help. Uh, I my experience in coaching has been through AAU and club teams. So. You're really spoiled in that environment. Mm-hmm. A lot of the times the organization sets up everything for you. And in this case, there's a lot more administrative things. So they're definitely guiding me on that part. Mm-hmm. Um, especially uh, Allie Madsen has been extreme help. I'm very uh, lucky to have her as the JV and assistant coach. Um, so they've been guiding me through the administrative part of it and, you know, scheduling buses and things like that. <laughs> um But then also outside of my coaching staff, uh, Jeff Ralph has been a huge help, and um, Mike McCall is a great AD leading me along the way. Okay. What can you tell me you've enjoyed most about coaching this squad in particular? Getting to know the girls and what makes them tick. Mm -hmm. I think that's, you know, coaching sometimes you end up um, as a team psychologist more than anything, Mm -hmm. you know, figuring out how to get your team going and working on situations where you might be down a few points and how do you come back from that um 
I've also really enjoyed finding where our leaders are on the team mm-hmm. and working with them on how they can be effective leaders and uh, whether that's through voice or actions and figuring out who's going to be the girl we turn to to turn the team around because it can't always be the coach. It has to come from the players too. Mm-hmm. Okay. What are some goals that you've set for uh, the team in your first season at the helm? Um, my goals is just to – these girls are the start of – my first year leading a program. So I just want them to uh, set the stage of what Huskies volleyball is going to be for the future. Mm -hmm. And that comes with building confidence. And so me personally, it's to build a team chemistry and vibe that works not only for varsity, but all the way through to seventh and eighth grade and working with those coaches as well. So we have a set standard of what our team and program is going to be for years to come. Gotcha. And now I have to ask before we wrap it up, as a former Cowgirl, how excited are you be, Are you for this uh, border battle? I'm sure you got it circled on the calendar. I'm extremely excited. Um, you know, Margaret was one of the main people, or Coach Wilson was one of the main people I talked to before I applied for the job. Um, and Margaret and I played basketball and, and volleyball with each other growing up from, well, St. Mary's all mm-hmm. the way to our junior year of high school. So, I know she's a strong competitor in the gym, but as a coach, it's the same. So it's fun to have that little rivalry between us. I also have two nieces who play for Breck. Oh. So it's kind of a family affair mm-hmm. in that event as well, but it's mm-hmm. also for a great cause. And just to drop a shameless plug, our T-shirt link is up and all of those benefits are going to go to Tulane Schmidt. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm excited to be part of something that is not only fun for our community, but also benefits someone in our community. It's fun to see how much our small towns come together and help each other out. So I mm-hmm. hope we can pack that gym. It'll be fun. Oh, I'm sure it will be. That's kind of turned into the big uh, the big rivalry game of the fall now that the football game's not there anymore. You guys got to fill that void. Exactly. Yep. So it's even more, uh, even more important that all the fans come out and support. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Dom. A- anything else you'd like to add? Uh, our first home game is, uh, well, nope. Well, this will already be aired. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> but uh, no, just come check out our home games and support mm-hmm. the girls. All right. Perfect. And a quick snap schedule reminder for the upcoming week. We got Wapton Volleyball at Fargo Shanley at 7 p.m. And SCS Volleyball at Dakota College of Bodno at 7 p.m. Breckenridge Volleyball in action in Wheaton or no against Wheaton on Tuesday as well. Wapton Golf in action on Wednesday, as is NDSCS Volleyball. Wapton Golf is going to be at Kings Walk. NDSCS Volleyball hosting Williston State College. Thursday is going to have Wapton Boys Tennis. Uh, BW Girls, both are heading to Grand Forks. Wapton Volleyball against Fargo North on Thursday. Breckenridge Volleyball hosting Lake Park Audubon. Friday, Wapton Boys Tennis versus Bismarck Century and Bismarck Legacy. Breckenridge Football hosting, or is at Parker's Prairie on, the, on Friday this week. Wapton Football at Fargo North. And then Saturday, wrap it up. BW Cross Country Meet at Millbank. Wapton Boys Tennis at West Fargo Cheyenne in a tournament. Breckenridge Volleyball at Pelican Rapids Tournament. And then NDSCS Volleyball taking on Minnesota State Community and Technical College at 1.30. So that's your SNAP schedule reminder. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Now a quick word from our sponsor. Snap Fitness, your locally owned gym in Wapton, wants to have you join their workout family. Snap offers personal training, and owner Renata Fob will even write up workout plans for you. If you're an athlete in the Twin Towns, Snap Fitness will help you make sure you're prepared for the upcoming sports season. To all the retired athletes over 65, Snap Fitness participates in the Silver Sneakers Insurance Program, and most major insurances reimburse for memberships to Snap. Stop by Snap Fitness today and ask about their membership packages. They're located at 102 7th Street South in Wapaton.